All right, let's go find us a game. Hello to the viewing audience. I'm Travis. I will be your guide for today. And welcome to the T-Pulse Corner. We're making another entry in one of my playlist series, The uh, Devilish Valet. And I was going to do blue next, but um, we did red and white. We did a couple of different versions of the deck with him in it. And then we did um, green and red, which we used the stimulus package to trigger all of the doubling of the growth and power of Devilish Valet. And I thought, before I moved on to the blue, what if I combined using green and white along with red? You can't really get out of using red because it's Devilish Valet. He's red. So the name of this deck is called Devilish Strength. And partly because most of it is based on the shell of the pre-made deck they gave us called Strength in Numbers, which is green-white only. And I put in four copies of Devilish Valet, um, took out like the Gathering Throng cards, and really not much else. There's there's like maybe two copies of Jet Mirror in here too. And if I had Ginny Fay, I would have put her in there, but I don't have Ginny Fay. All right. What do we want to do? I think we can just put this in here and attack. Basically, the, the pre-made Strength in Numbers deck is built around tokens and has numerous alliance features where whenever another creature enters the battlefield, something good happens. So that's the same mechanic. Uh, it's always a different thing that happens under the alliance mechanic, right? Like here for Celebrity Fencer, you put a plus one counter. Here they just double the power. Uh, but whatever's going on, it's all good, right? Okay, so he manages to play two different cards at once. Not cool. What do we want to do? I guess we'll put down Halo Fountain. And we will attack again for one measly point of damage. And they're already stronger than when they started. Everything's going perfectly according to plan. He's got lots of good stuff, doesn't he? Alright, um, I guess we stop the bleeding, so we start by enchanting Cura. Let's go get... What else would we need here? I don't know, once we have the Devilish Valet, we don't really need any more than the one mountain. So... Yeah, we'll get bite. Alright, and then we just go and attack. like he's sitting pretty. And that thing has toxic? Great. Mm, yeah, let's do it now. Gonna add one. We'll get the green and white token though. So we pump up the fencer and we double the valet's power. And because he's toughness four, all of a sudden we get a little bit of damage in and we eliminate one creature. Which is good because he's got tons of mana and three more cards to use on us.
what's really cool is Jet Mirror will give us Vigilance. Which is kind of cool. What is this? Play lands from your graveyard. You don't have any lands in the graveyard. What else can you do? If you haven't cast a spell, you can cast that card. Hmm. Okay. We are willing to trade off with the Dune Mover right now. Right now. He takes five instead? That is awesome. Thank you. So you're going to look here. He's actually going to do that. You're going to play Asusa's Many Journeys again because you don't like the cards in your hand? Well, it's a free, right? It's a free spell? You still got to pay the mana, though. So you looked at it and decided you didn't want to. Why? You have another one in your hand. But the first chapter is useless, and this is too early for the read ahead abilities. Kamigawa doesn't have read ahead on their enchantment sagas. So what do we get? Dama conduit and another Asuzas. Okay, but I see what they're doing. They get Shigeki to fill their graveyard, so they get nice cards in their graveyard that they can just cast. And enough mana to still bring Shigeki back down again. Uh, let's untap this one. Give us another creature. Pump up the fencer. Perfect. Okay. Two, I need one more land, really. What does this do for me now? I get to scry that's not a land, but they don't have any flyers to block me. And I got six. Um, this should be lethal, right? Look at all the triggers! Trigger, 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 trigger! Who cares anymore? He's gonna be dead. Trigger! Attack with everybody! It's a good day. And he doesn't hang around for the hit. Alright. This was my first playtest. I have not done any anything before this. I just slapped the Devilish Relays and Jet Mirror in there, fixed the land, and went right in to see what we could do with it. So let me show you the deck. It should be mostly familiar to you. It's still heavily New Capenna based, still based on using the Alliance mechanic. Just like the pre-made Strength in Numbers Green White deck. Okay, so here's what we added. Four Devilish Valets. We took out the uh, the three Rumor Gatherers. Or not the Rumor Gatherers. We kept the Rumor Gatherers. Um, the, the Throngs. And then uh, the two Jet Mirrors. Let me go real quick and pull up the starter decks. And the starter decks is where, depending on when you joined, we have some older decks as well that you can't use right now in modern standard but here's back when we had Innistrad and New Capenna and that kind of stuff and that was it okay so what did I get rid of I got rid of the three gathering throngs I got rid of Torrens and I got rid of let's see two Darling of the Masses so those are my choices. I added in, those are my four choices. So I, I substituted the two Darling of the Masses for two Jet Mirrors instead. I thought Jet Mirrors better than Darling, in this case at least. And for the four Valets, I do without Torns, and I get rid of the three Gathering Flowers. And the rest is just changing up the land base. So that's the only difference between the pre-made. So if you've got, um, I mean, if you are 
virtually brand new to the game and you don't have squat, you're still going to have this pre-made deck. That means you only need some land and six cards and you've automatically got this deck. And you just saw it in action. It is awesome. Devilish Valet is awesome. We've already seen how well he does with the Alliance mechanic when other cards have the Alliance mechanic. Uh, we've seen him paired with white, we've seen him paired with green, and now we're seeing him paired with white and green together. So, let's see what happens when we do it again. Remember to like and subscribe. The more likes you give me, the more subscriptions I get, the more I'm going to win. I have nothing to back that up. That's just my theory. You're going to make me feel good about myself, right? You'll make me feel better. When I feel better, I perform better. I play better. You want me to play better, don't you? Or are you one of those hate watchers? You claim you hate a show, but you come back to just watch it to see what's going to happen next. Because you can't believe what's going to happen next. Oh, I can't believe he made that play. He's so stupid. What a failure. I'm going to tune in tomorrow and watch him again. I'm not going to subscribe. Quick decks, the quick decks. Of course he gets two of those up front. Why wouldn't he? And they have ward two, so I can't target him with that. And I'm gonna be almost dead by the end of turn four here. He's got another. Don't tell me he's got a third patchwork automaton. Oh, Simeon Sling. Okay, that's not quite as bad. I'm still taking, what, eight, eight points of damage here? Gross. I think they are too fast, and I can't do enough here. I can do this. And freeze that one. And that uses all of my mana because of the ward. I basically need like a board wipe already. Yeah. Red is still a valid channel, yeah? Okay. That serves me right for winning my first match. Wizards of the Coast must put me in my place. So their crack team immediately chose who I would face next. Made sure they got both patchwork automatons out so that they would increase in power very quickly. Made sure my lands were mostly tap lands. So now we're back to 50 50, right? For win loss percentage from a new deck. Let's see what happens now. Do you just starve me of land now? New card from Phyrexia. Incubation sack. Artifact. Three oil counters for four mana. Remove one and create a Phyrexian Golem artifact creature token. But it's going to be a colorless artifact. Okay. So that one's, uh, as the text says, this one needs a little bit longer to ripen. So it's going to sit there and bake in the oven until he gets four mana. We don't need to tip them off, we have red just yet. Let's just put in a halo fountain. We don't need to worry. I mean, if he's going to block, he'll block. I'm not going to let that stop us. Say hello to my cat demon.
the one problem in, in maybe why Halo Fountain's bad for keeping in here is as soon as I get another creature, Jetmir gives everybody vigilance. And then there's nothing for me to untap. So we may have just found an interesting little uh, problem that I have with having this card. Plus three, plus three in trample. He needs four mana to make it work. Only needs two mana to make this work. Put two oil counters on something. But he gets to draw a card with both of them so they replace themselves. He can't exactly stop Jetmere, can he? But if he gets one more mana, let's see. Oil counters. You know, oil counters just let you discard and draw right now. He could put more oil counters on the incubation sack and give it more. What do you want to do there? X is the number of permanents. That's fine, you can have that. Perfect. Okay. So Rumor Gatherer comes in. Ah, no, that's not going to work. I can't use Halo Fountain now. Need to get the six creatures to give me trample. He keeps his stuff, so nine points of damage. That's good. That's good. The question is do I cast this for zero, create a second creature that can block and throw away the rumor gatherer at Kaldolfa? Okay, he's decided he needs help, so he's gonna draw and find a better card. Sacrifices the skull bomb. Only for a card, so we don't have to worry about him putting oil counters on anything. This all will be one. Whenever you put one or more counters, all be one deals that much damage to target opponent. Creature only planes walk it. Okay. I'm still learning these Phyrexian cards, so I hope you guys don't mind if I pull them up on the screen. I've seen exuberant fusling before. Got a lot of stuff there all of a sudden, didn't he? What's that going to put him up to? 6-3. Okay, we're going to do our trick. We'll pay 0. Um, we'll target... It doesn't matter what creature we target. Needs mana to make these things happen. Do I want another land? One, two, three, four, five. No. I think I've got enough land. Four. That doesn't give me trample yet. I could let him through and just attack next turn. Let's go ahead and just take him out. Hmm. 
wants to kill that one. Okay. Gonna untap you. more in. Back to having vigilance. And so we can go for trample next turn or we can go for take to the streets next turn. He goes for help yet again. He finally finds the land he needs. What was that? Hazardous Blast. One damage only. Creatures can't block this turn. Okay. Hmm. I don't give I don't get trample. I just get to attack. doesn't have the mana to remove anything else. Three creatures with vigilance again. He has enough to start doing the three three golems. but he would need to block with both of his creatures to stop Jetmir, which means I'd have lethal on the other two. So he needs something else. He can't just put out a, a golem. Which shows you the problem. If you have the slightest problem with your land drops, Incubation Sack's going to give you trouble. He could do a plus three, plus three. He's going to do it anyway. Well, that gives us death touch with everybody, no matter what he does. And he's got to use one to block Jetmir regardless. He's alive for one more turn. have another hazardous blast that would get rid of three but then you'd still need something to block Jetmir again and it wouldn't be able to be summoning sickness right he'd have to tap if he wanted to give the target creature plus two plus two. Oh, activate only as a sorcery too that is not a good card I mean I don't know if I want to say this is not a good card. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. It comes equipped to do this a couple times. I guess it's not a bad card, but... I would not normally choose that card for anything. Okay. We are 2-1 on the brand new deck. No appearance by the Devilish Valet, but my new uh, pinch hitter, Jetmir, took care of things for us. I'm sporting my new Vornplex uh, avatar here. We've got our three colors. We're playing with new Capenna cards, right? New Capenna, new Capenna, new Capenna. So those are the rules. We need green and white, and we need red. And you better give me those colors. By the third turn, I've got all three of them. And this is, generally speaking, a fast deck with lots of three damage removal cards. So we could be in trouble. 
especially if we can't remove this guy. And we might as well just hit him over here since we have haste. How lucky is he going to be with the spot removal that he just keeps taking things out as they come in? Oh, the, he's got blue, remember? So even though he's got a very quick, uh, small cost red deck with lots of cheap red spells, he's got blue land, so he has to stop and think a lot. Gets yet another cheap spell, uses it to push up the infantry. This is, um, I don't think, this is not a pre-made deck, is it? I think this, but this is like a standard configuration type thing that everybody's settled on. Now this is the fun part. We don't need to double him up five times to get lethal now. We just need to be able to figure out how to get three creatures in in one turn. And we've got eight damage each. If they get through unblocked, it's lethal. And we can do it in two turns. So we just need each of the valets to survive. So if he doesn't have removal, we've got a good deal going on. Though I wonder... Now if he hits me for six, I really can't wait. So I've got to do this now. He's got something. He can. He's got three mana. Can he do anything right now? What he's got? I think we got him. When she attacks, we create a green and white citizen creature token. That's going to bump them all up. He needs a lightning blast. That was perfect. Got three cards, got rid of a needless land card, still got an extra land to do, so he's got five mana to do whatever he wants to. Can I do what I need with just one devilish valet? Two, four, eight, sixteen. Yes, I can. Sixteen if he blocks. And he blocks. Okay, so. But he can't attack with the electrostatic infantry now. And he needs to get rid of a valet. I could just throw him down and have everybody have vigilance, but that's not really enough. We need these two to give us all the tokens. If we had one more turn, a leisurely turn, I would put out the Celebrity Fencer. Okay, so now he's going to attack. Um, I'm not going to block. I've got lethal. Trigger, 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 trigger! Trigger, trigger! Everybody attack. One more round of triggers. 32 trample points coming at ya. Even if you had first strike, we still have lethal. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I said good game. Did you think I was bluffing? Did he think I was saying good game because I was going to quit? Um, I had fun. I have a ton of fun with Devilish Valet. 
That's three wins and only one loss against Mono Red Burn. I'll take that all the time. All right. I think that's enough for now. I think we demonstrated the deck pretty well. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to do against... I mean, we did play against a red-green Phyrexian deck, but we didn't play against the big stuff that's, that's really going on in Phyrexia a lot right now. Um, but, um, as always, when this guy gets cracking, you just love to see those triggers. And it's a lot of fun. And we didn't even get stuff like Wedding Announcement or Adeline, uh, all of which, you know, Adeline, um, whenever she attacks, you get something. Uh, and that, that actually creates the trigger for the Alliance mechanic. So that works quite nicely, even though she's from Innistrad, not New Capenna. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what to say. I, it, it didn't take long to create this. This is the fastest deck I have ever created in my life. Okay, I knew I wanted red, a white and green with, with the valet. I chose six creatures, fixed the land, and then just had to choose six of the least likely cards that would uh, benefit the valet the most uh, in this particular environment. And the throngs uh, weren't enough to be doing it. They were too expensive compared to what we could get with this. And uh, you just saw we used two cheap spells instead of one expensive spell. If we'd had more time and we weren't so low on health and we were like at a standoff, I would have put the Celebrity Fencer down first, and then she would have gotten three triggers on the next turn as we use those other two cheap spells, and we would have turned her into a 6-6. And then we could have brought Jetmere out, and that would have given us, like, what, seven, eight creatures or something by then? And, uh, and then just about anything else we got after that was going to give us a creature out of what was left in our deck. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep this deck. All right, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you uh, want to take it out for a spin. Let me know what your results are. And uh, as always, before I forget, uh, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks. Have a good one.